What's good YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and welcome to another tutorial video. Today is a quick tip video that is gonna help step up your production game, help you to make music a lot faster, a lot easier. If you don't have a musical theory background or you don't know much about music theory, then this is gonna really, really help out your beats and productions. Now, in Logic Pro 10, on any software instrument track, there's this MIDI effects section. If I go ahead and bring in a plugin that we're looking at today called Transposer, which is a stock plugin in Logic Pro 10, this plugin is essentially straight up magic. It allows you to play any song scale on your keyboard. No matter what notes you play, you will be playing the correct notes within that song key or scale, no matter what. So I can go ahead and go just go crazy on my keys and all the notes will be within the song scale that we've selected. And uh, that just helps out a lot of upcoming producers or producers that don't really have a musical background. This will help sort of play around with different scales, play around with different emotions within scales and um, not really worry about the schematics or mathematics behind what notes work with what and in what key. This just takes all the guesswork and knowledge work and homework out and just gets you to make music right away. So right here we got a Metro Boomin style synth. We're gonna go ahead and change our transposer plugin to a more of a Metro Boomin style uh, scale. So we're gonna set our root note to C and we're gonna change the scale to a Phrygian scale. A lot of trap music likes to use this type of scale. Now, of course, we can go ahead on our keyboard and play whatever we want, and it's going to be within that C Phrygian scale. You don't have to worry about the black keys, the white keys, nothing. Just play with your gut feeling and emotion where the melody should play out. Should it go higher? Should it go lower? You don't have to worry about what notes you're playing, just the direction of the notes. That's it. So if I go ahead and hit D on my keyboard, right there, it's actually not gonna play the D, it's gonna play the C sharp. If I play the E, it's gonna play the D sharp. So it's always gonna push down whatever note that you're playing down a semitone. So you can go pretty much go crazy on the keyboard. Play any notes that you want and you're going to be locked to whatever song scale that you put into your transposer plugin and this helps a lot if you want to play around with different scales you don't really know what uh, notes are involved just throw this onto your software instrument track select a scale that you want we can even go to let's say to a japanese scale then you're playing within that set of parameters. Makes it really easy to make music, makes it really easy to sort of learn new scales and learn new things along the way as well. So if you go to like a C minor scale, let's go to natural minor, you'll start to learn what notes are involved in that key. And slowly, slowly, you're gonna teach yourself music theory without even realizing it. So on your next beat, try transposer, try putting on a new scale that you have never played within or wanna learn about. Try the C Phrygian scale for trap music and uh, just go crazy. Like I said, you can do no wrong once the transposer plugin is on and uh, everything is going to sound in key to whatever scale you set within the transposer plugin. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you're going to use it in your future productions. If you do have any questions on this, you can ask me in the comment section below. And as usual, guys, if you're a new time music mogul or did like this video, or thumbs up, share it, and of course, hit that subscribe button for more good videos like this one. I'll talk to you all soon. Later. Peace.